every big town in the world and most of the little ones as its markets. The place where you can pick up anything from a new suit of clothes to an argument with a copper. But nowadays, when everything's got to be bigger and better, they've invented the supermarket. Spick and span and shining bright. A street market with a top hat on. Petticut Lane. Now, that's one of the old sort. In London's East End, down Orgate Way. Now, this one started to go a bit posh when they changed the name to Middlesex Street. But it's the same old Petticut Lane, really. Nice, friendly place where you meet your mates. Berwick Street's in the West End, or Oxford Street. Now, that's mostly for women. I get down here sometimes, see if I can pick up something fancy in nylons. Another good one is Farringdon Road, where you can get yourself a nice new frame fixed up round your old glasses. They've almost closed this one down, but a few of the geezers on the stalls have got licences for life, so they can't shift them. They sell a lot of books in Farringdon Road. I bought one myself once to prop up a table at that one short lake. Petticut Lane is only a market on a Sunday morning, so a lot of the stallholders you meet here are standing at the other markets the rest of the week. Seven days a week, eh? Whew. They must love work. Now, part of the knack of selling to the general public is you've got to have a nice voice. If you've got that, you can sell anything from a cool tie to a hot tip. Right, now don't forget, there's only one tosser. Yeah. Come here, boy. I'll give you a new tie for that. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, you don't buy one, look. Come here. Take that all. I'll give you a new tie. You can have a two-bob one, half a crown one, three-bob one, four-bob one, six-bob one. Go steady, the game's fair. And don't think too many. You? You want to turn that poop game up over I'll here? I'll have this one. Don't worry. I'm the bloke. This is my stall. I'm my stall. There's not a man like me for selling them. I'll tell you straight. I've got a heart. Ladies titlers, hats to you. All the latest fashions. Cloth caps for opening a bank account. Everything you can think of to buy and a carrier bag to take it away in. Portobello Road. Now, this is one of the markets open every day of the week, and it's one of the biggest in London. On a Saturday, when it's going full blast, there's three quarters of a mile of it. This is the chief market in London for new and second-hand silver goods. It's about 100 years old, and it got a lot of new business when they closed down the old Caledonian market a few years ago. Some of the stallholders standing here are carrying on a family business started by their grandfathers and great-grandfathers. Hello, love. See anything you fancy? Portobello Road is in the Notting Hill district. You find a lot of citizens here from all over the world. A good place is for picking up foreign coins. I used to collect them when I was a nipper. <laughs> Very handy they were for the slot machines. Many's the time I've been here when I've been hard up, looking for old clothes and a new conscience. Talking about religion, you can find some in here for religions of every kind. Eight, Bob, who wants it? Eighteen-piece tea, sir. 
Anybody want to slot for a shilling? 12 bars chopping at six purses for a shilling. Yeah. Set of aluminium saucepans, never seen daylight, moonlight, or can it be gaslight? Here's one. That's if you want to call egg quick. Like I said before, the supermarket is the same sort of thing as the old market, but it's mainly for food, you see? And it's a bit more posh and a bit more modern. Everything is nice and clean and tidy. And when it comes on to rain, you've got a roof over your loaf. Ooh, they smell good, don't they? Now, in the modern supermarket, the stuff's already packed up, so that when you eat it, you know nobody's been messing it about. On the other hand, in the street market, they'll tell you that the fresh air never hurt anybody. Look at that fish. Lovely grub, eh? Shrimps, eels. Good as a day at the seaside, it is. Well, here we are back in the supermarket. Now, the great thing about this kind of shopping is you don't waste your time. Instead of walking up and down the high street wearing out your leather, you spend all the money you've got just walking a yard or two and it's much quicker. But as far as I'm concerned, I feel a bit out of it. In the old street market, I meet all my pals, I am a natter, just like a club. But there's showmanship on both sides. Like a coffee? I'm just making some now. It'll be ready in a few seconds. Serve your coffee with hot milk, with cream, or drink it black. Here, yeah, see that box of orange 11 slices? Cost three bob. Two of them cost six bob. The last two, give me a shilling for the two of them. Lady there. Now the coffee is ready to serve. So try a sample and see which flavour you prefer. How about a drop of sarsaparilla? Or a bit of fruit. Yep, there's a lot of big changes taking place in people's shopping habits. And there's lots of stuff to be bought now that nobody ever heard of 20 years ago. Because there's so many citizens come from abroad, you see. In a street market near where there's coloured people living, they have special green groceries, all the things they used to get at home. But in the posh place, you can get some queer grub too. There's one thing that's the same in the supermarket and the street market, and that is the end of the day. Checking up the lolly. Now, I reckon that's the job I could handle, all right? I asked them once. No, thank you, they said. Well, that's about all there is. Everybody's shoving off to treat themselves if they got any money left. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, look what they've left behind them. On the other hand, at the supermarket, at the end of the day, you could still eat your grub off the floor. Like we had to at home the time I flogged the table. Oh well, supermarket, street market. That's two sides of life in Britain today. It's a good job we don't all like the same thing. Otherwise, there'd be no progress, would there? <laughs>